Hey guys, welcome back to Christian Cars. I thought I'd just do a quick video and tell you how I do my maintenance on this tank. Uh, it's pretty easy for quite a large system. Uh, the maintenance, I spend no more than probably seven hours a week doing it. So basically I will clean the glass with my flipper. Scrape all the coralline algae off the tank, which I've just did. Then I would use, uh, it's called Fritz, uh, glass and acrylic, acrylic cleaner. I would do, do, so basically I would clean the glass first with a scraper and then spray the front of the glass and clean that. On the top of the tank, I will just give it a quick wipe down. Get rid of any salt creep. So finally I'll get a bit of salt creep down here. You can see it just there. And then that is pretty much it guys. It's such an easy tank to maintain. Now this tank is over a year old. It's simple. I don't get any issues with the sand. I don't get any um, other issues. I don't want to curse it just in case something does happen, but now the tank is officially stabled, doing really, really well. The coralline algae is just growing out of control now. So I had to scrape the back of the, as you can see, if I can try and focus and enlarge it. See, that was scraped about three days ago. So it's just growing like mad. But yeah, all the corals are doing super happy. The lights have only been on for about an hour. So they're uh, slowly starting to open up. I might have to move this frog spawn because he's getting near my dragon solver area. They're all nice and puffy. All the arapores are doing really well. They're really nice and puffy. And all the torches. Now I've got the nitrates under control. Uh, they're starting to color up a lot better now. Because they look a bit pale, so he's starting to get his green. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, they're all starting to colour a lot better now. Uh, all the um, so if I can then try and give it a better colour. This is all my chalices. They're doing super well. He's starting to encrust now, so he's doing happy. Duncan, phenomenal coral. This coral will always tell you if your water parameter is bad. So if this coral doesn't open, then you know your water parameters are bad. And these are all my wall corals. See how much this is encrusted. And then I've got another wall coral. I really do like these because these grow super fast. And my circus uh, uh, wall coral. I really do like these. I'm going to get a couple of more from Prestige. And the mushrooms are doing really, really well. All opening up. He's starting to move. This one's doing really, really well as well. And all the zoas. Looking happy and healthy. Just going kind to of focus on them. Yeah, so everything's looking really good. I don't know if I have to move the um, candy cane because it's hitting a couple of the um, other zoas. And this one's encrusting as well. And the bubble tip's nice and happy and healthy. So yeah, guys, this is just a quick update on the tank and how I maintain it. And I just want to say thank you ever so much for the subscribers. Uh, please hit that like. Please hit that notification bell. And I will do a new video next week. Cheers, guys. Bye.